Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add floating labels to form fields in Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we need to do is to create a brand new page. So I'm gonna come over here to pages and then click on add new. Now let's give this page a name. I'm just gonna close out of this block here. So our page here is going to be called floating labels, but you can name it whatever you want. Now over here, we're going to use the DV Builder. So I'm going to click on Use DV Builder. So for this tutorial, we're going to build everything from scratch. So I'm going to choose Build from Scratch. Now we need to enter our row. So I'm going to go with a single column. And in this column, we're going to add an email opt-in. So I'm going to type in email and here it is. So I'm going to add my email opt-in like that. Now we need to customize this a little bit. So I'm going to give this a title. So I'm going to call this Join Our Newsletter. And in the description here, I'm just going to make it blank. So I'm going to delete all this. The next part here is to connect this with our email service provider. So I'm going to click on email account. So you need to make sure you have any of these email service providers. So what I'm going to do for this tutorial is I'm just going to use this uh, basic MailChimp here and click on add. So this is where you would add your account name and API key. Once you enter that, that means that this is now connected with MailChimp. So if someone signs up, they will be able to be added in onto our mailing list from Divi. Okay, so now that we've done that, the next step now is to start to stylize this design. So I'm going to come over here and start off with the background. So I'm just going to hit submit here. So um, or even cancel. Okay, so I'm going to come over here to the background. So this is where we want to remove this default color and add our own color. So to change the color, just click anywhere in here and paste your color like that. Now I'm going to add all the colors that I'm going to be using in a post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. So now that we've added that, we also need to customize this. So ideally, we want to have this title on the top and all this information here on the bottom. And to change that, we need to come over here to design. Click on layout and we want to change this to body on top, form on bottom. Okay, so I'm going to choose that. And now you can see things are looking way much better. Now let's customize the background color of these fields. So to quickly customize this, you can just click on this pen brush icon and this will take you now to your customizations tab, which is the design tab. So for this one here, I am going to add my fields background color as transparent. OK, so to add transparency, I'm just going to click here and you can see now that um, my color here is not showing anymore. Now let's move on to the fields text color. So for our fields text color, I'm going to click in here. And we are going to add our color here as white. Now for our fields padding, I'm going to come over here. We want to make that area slightly bigger. So I'm going to use 0.5 EM. And I'm going to use this both on the top and the bottom. And for the left and the right, I am going to use 1 EM. So I'm just going to add it in here. Click on this chain icon so the value will also be added to the right. Now I need to add my fields text size. So for my fields text size, I'm just going to scroll down here until I find, okay, here we go. Here's my text size. I'm going to paste it like that. It's going to be 1.2 EM. Now the fields line height is going to be 2 EM. So again, I'm going to adjust it here, set this to 2 EM. That's just so that we have enough height on our field. Okay, so now that we have this all set, we need to uh, remove our fields rounded corners. So I'm going to continue on here and set this to zero. Now I need to add a border because right now it's quite difficult to see where people can enter their information. So what I'm going to do now is to add a bottom border by clicking on this tab right here. Right now nothing is showing and that is because I haven't added the border width. So I'm going to set this to two and I'm also going to change the color here so we can all see it and the color is going to be white. Now let's customize our title color, uh, title font here. So I'm going to click on this pencil icon and we are going to make this all caps. We want to change the weight to bold and we're also going to center this. Next, we need to work on our button here because this does not look stylized and it just looks like we have too many lines. So to customize this, we're going to look for our button, which is right here. And we're going to activate use custom styles for button. Now I can go in and add my button text color. 
by clicking here on add color and I'm going to paste it like that. Next, I'm going to add my button background color. So I'm going to click on this plus button and paste my color in here. Right, so moving on, I'm going to add my button letter spacing and I'm going to set it to 0.1 EM. For our font weight, I'm going to set this to bold and also make it all caps. So for our last customization, what we need to do is to set our maximum width. So to do that, I'm going to scroll here to sizing and add my maximum width, which is going to be 500 pixels. And I'm also going to add padding to my form by adding it over here on spacing. So we're going to um, set this to 5% all around. So I'm going to click on this change so I can apply it both to the top and the bottom. And on the left and right, we're going to reduce it slightly to 3%. So I'm going to enter my 3% in here. And it's going to be on both sides as well. So we're going to save for now. Now, finally, we're going to add some CSS. And I'm also going to leave a link to the blog post which has all the codes that we're going to use in this tutorial in the show notes below. Okay, so I will add that link so you can just copy and paste the CSS code. All right, so to add our code, we're going to click here on this plus button click on code. So it's important that we start with our brackets here and type in style, close the bracket like that. So once we do that, this is going to enable our CSS code to be rendered correctly. Now I can paste my CSS code in here. So I'm going to paste it. Now we also have some jQuery code. So this needs to come under the CSS. So I'm just going to enter twice in here. And because this is jQuery, we are going to add our tag here. In this case, it's going to be script. Then I'm going to close it, hit enter twice. And then I'm just going to enter my jQuery code in here like that. So pretty much that's all we need to do. So now I'm going to hit save, save one more time and exit the visual builder. All right, so let's test and see if this is working now. So I'm going to start typing my first name here. And you can see there the floating is happening. And let's try this on the last name as well. And again, when I click in that field, it is also showing. And finally, on the email. And there we go. It's showing as well. So this is how you add floating labels to form fields in Divi. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.